Hey guys, what's up? It's 8 Bit Eric, and today we are going to check out Resident Evil 4 on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 is finally here on the Nintendo Switch. Probably one of my most favorite video games of all time. In fact, it's debatable that it's one of the best Resident Evil games of all time. You play as Leon S. Kennedy, who's a series favorite as he goes on a mission to save the president's daughter who's gone missing and been kidnapped by a weird cult called Los Illuminados. Now, this game has pretty much been put on everything ever since it first came out on the GameCube and now it's on the Switch and I wanted to give it a little look-see and see if it's worth checking out one more time. So guys, if you're brand new to the channel, feel free to throw a subscription and let's go ahead and begin today's review of Resident Evil 4 on the Nintendo Switch. So Resident Evil 4, as I mentioned, is a port of a game that came out back in the GameCube days. At the time, it was a timed exclusive for the GameCube. Then it got a PS2 port and a Wii port. And throughout the years, there's been different variations of it, new additions added on to the gameplay, like new, new DLCs and motion controls on the Wii version. And throughout time, it's actually still kind of kept its age. You know, this game has somewhat aged well throughout the year. So I was kind of curious to see how it would playing it on the Nintendo Switch suffer? If, would it be good? Would it be a decent port? Or would it be something that was very choppy, had poor frame rate, and bad gameplay mechanics and everything? It was, it was a little pricey, I gotta admit, and I got this game a day early as of this video. It's not out in the United States. It comes out on the 21st. I downloaded this from the Australia eShop on the Nintendo Switch, so I give a little, you know, good gameplay variety and everything. I sunk about probably like six hours into the game. I'm like in the middle of chapter two or towards the end of chapter two. And I gotta say, I had quite a bit of nostalgia overload playing this game. It brought back lots of memories when I was just entranced with how awesome this game was. I absolutely love Resident Evil 4. Just everything about it. I, you know, I just thought it was such a great game. The way that the environment was just, 3d like free roam and just kennedy leon s kennedy has always been my favorite character in the series this game is actually really creepy especially when you get towards like the castle levels and things like that where you get these robed maniacs that just yell Akiasta! at you from like far away and just scare you and then you get the chainsaw maniacs and everything like that but this game does change up the Resident Evil formula a little bit. I, I'm, I'm not really going to go into complete detail of how the game plays and everything like that, like, like you know, the like gameplay mechanics and talk about like that because this game is old. It's like over 20 years old, just about. Uh, you know, you have a certain amount of space in your weapon kit that you have to like kind of uh, storage manage like all other Resident Evils and their save points spread far and few between. But but the main objective of the game is to survive, which is like all the Resident Evil games. And this one's unique because it has a, a duo mechanic. You know, some parts of the game you're playing by yourself. You have Leon for a good chunk of the beginning of the game until you rescue Ashley, who's the president's daughter. Once you have her, you have to make sure she stays out of danger. You know, you got to make sure no enemies attack her. You got to make sure that no enemies grab her and take her off screen. You got to make sure she doesn't get killed or else it's game over for you. So once you get Ashley, the gameplay changes dramatically. It turns into like an escort type of game that definitely gets challenging and stressful, but in a fun way. <laughs> just playing this on the switch brought back a lot of memories i did have some concerns and issues though for one i know uh the main thing that's been addressed and i've seen previous other videos talk about this is the motion controls that were added on from the wii version are completely gone it would have been nice to have this as a feature even if it was gyro controls you know with a pro controller or the joy cons to me it's not such a big deal because i'm not a fan of motion controls but i will say the controls initially took some time for me to get used to. I'm not sure if it was because I haven't played Resident Evil 4 in probably about five years, to be completely honest. Uh, you know, aiming, you hold the shoulder button to pull your gun out, and then the aiming is with the right analog stick. And it seems a little slow and kind of wonky at times, but once I played through a couple hours in, I started getting headshots like nobody's business. I started knocking off heads off of some of these Los Illuminados cattle like nothing. 
and I started to enjoy it somewhat. It did take some time getting used to. I think it's because honestly, most games nowadays, this is to like kind of turn your character and this is to like move forward. You know what I mean? Like when you're playing like a twin stick game and this ain't really used to control the camera. This actually has you moving the character as well. So I kept thinking when I wanted to start going left or right to push this and it actually threw me off quite a bit. Um, I don't know and then and it just took me a while to get used to the aiming like I said the the characters kind of felt a little wonky at times but once I started progressing it felt okay now I gotta say for port this seems all right uh, obviously this is probably the one that came out a few years ago that was remastered I believe on I would say Xbox and PlayStation had this version. This is probably the most recent port. This obviously isn't the GameCube one. Things looked a little bit polished up in that regard. There are still some outdated polygons and textures and stuff like that. But again, this game is 20 years old. So you can't be coming in here thinking you're going to have a complete HD remake like Resident Evil 2 remake was or, you know, things like that. This game actually shows its age a little bit in the graphics department but i think overall with the main story the atmosphere the music and just the overall gameplay i feel resident evil 4 has aged quite beautifully now how it plays on the switch i didn't encounter any frame rate issues you know a lot of worries that i have when it comes to some of these ports especially older ports is that they're just kind of sloppily thrown together and put on the nintendo switch no, there was no problems at all. Even playing this in handheld mode, this game ran just fine, which I think is great. You know, I think Capcom overall has done a great job bringing over some of its games like Dragon's Dogma, the Monster Hunter game, things like that. They, they've, they're starting to slowly but surely bring over some of their great games. Yeah, it would have been nice to have gotten Resident Evil 2 Remake on the Switch, but that ain't happening, guys. But Resident Evil 4, again, one of the greatest games of all time. And I think it runs great on the Nintendo Switch. Now, the main issue that I have with Resident Evil 4 at this point is that it was dead digital only on the Nintendo Switch. I would have liked to seen a physical version come out. I know also Resident Evil 0 and 1 just came out in a physical pack. One of the games on that physical pack, though, is digital download only, which is kind of sad and a little annoying. Ugh. And I wish Resident Evil 4 would have had that option. I wish they would have had the physical version. And then not to mention, it is pricey for a download-only game. This game, I bought it on the Australia eShop probably for about, about $40. And that was not including how much I had to buy a eShop card for, <laughs> you know, for the Australian shop. So I probably paid about 60 total to get this game just to download it and play it for you guys on a review. So the download, about 40-ish dollars, maybe. Um, I don't know. My math is wrong in Australian money. I have no clue. And I, I've heard complaints, you know, people talking about how much it's going to be in Canada, how much it's going to be in the U.S. I think overall for Resident Evil 4, the price of this game is very, very overpriced. Uh, I, I honestly, I feel very disappointed in that. And I know Capcom's trying to make their money, but this is a, a game that came out in the early 2000s. There's absolutely no reason for this game to pretty much be as much as it cost for a digital game only game i could understand paying 29.99 35.99 even even maybe 40 for a physical version of this game but to have a digital only option and have this price at this much i don't know i i would honestly probably say unless you are a big resident evil fan probably don't get it i i for one have it on wii ps2 gamecube and probably who god knows what else uh, I wanted to check it out just to see if it was worth to review to you guys. So that's first and foremost the reason why I get it. I know I had somebody on Twitter say, oh, nice of you to show that you like to waste money. No, honestly, I've always been a fan of Resident Evil 4. I play the Switch. My main selling point for this game was to have Resident Evil 4 be portable. You know, portability is a very good option to have it for the Nintendo Switch, especially with a great game like Resident Evil 4. It runs beautifully. It's a lot of fun. It's everything that I remember. It has a nostalgia overload for me. It's a great game. Everything about it, there's no huge nuances to it. I think it's aged great. You know, the control takes a little bit of getting used to because really games don't really control this way anymore. And yeah, the graphics kind of look a little outdated. But overall, it's a fantastic game. I would rate Resident Evil 4 a solid 8.5, close to a 9. 
but its main point for me that kind of negates it is that it's definitely overpriced guys maybe capcom will come out with a physical version six months from now a lot of companies like to do that i don't know why it's kind of annoying it makes me mad when i digital get download a game and then a couple months later they announce a physical release coming it's like wow i understand there's business and everything but a heavy hidden game probably one of the most biggest staples in your company's history capcom you sh there's no absolute reason why this didn't have to come out physical and i think that honestly is the main selling point of why i don't think you should buy it for its price unless you must have it guys so yeah i think that's it for my resident evil 4 review on the switch that's what i think i think it's a great game everything about it runs perfectly it's just a little too out of that price range that i feel comfortable getting a digital only title guys so if you are brand new to the channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below are you gonna get this game do you think it's overrated should you get a physical should there be a physical do you not give a shit and don't forget to like dislike on the way out i will see you guys on the next video have a great day peace out consider supporting 8-bit eric on patreon for just a dollar a month Link below in the description.